Hello! In this video, I'm going over how to connect a server to Microsoft Log Analytics. Hello! In this video, I'm going over how to connect servers to Microsoft Operation Management Log Analytics. So with that, I'm just going to get right into it. Um, I'm assuming you've watched the other video and you have a OMS workspace set up. So I'm going to go over two things in this video. One is connecting a Azure VM to Log Analytics. And the second thing I will cover is setting, uh, configuring a server that's not in Azure for Log Analytics. There's uh, two different ways to do it. So I'll, with that, let's get started with the easy one. So I'm logged into my OMS workspace that I set up in the last video. And if I scroll down to virtual machines, you can see I have a list of virtual machines available. One of them is connected to another workspace, but I've got this one OMS test that I'm going to connect. So if I click on that and click connect, that's all there is to it. Now, uh, within a few minutes, that machine is going to be connected to the workspace and it'll start uploading. It'll take about five, 10 minutes for it to start uploading the logs that we had configured in the last video. So, I'm going to go back now to the workspace and go into advanced settings. And here under Windows Server, you can see I've got uh, downloads for agents, a workspace ID, and a primary and secondary key. So the server I'm on here, or it's actually a work, uh, workstation, is just a Windows 10 workstation that is not part of Azure. So I'm going to start by downloading the 64-bit agent. Okay, sorry for the little edit there. For some reason, I could not download the agent with Internet Explorer, so I hopped over to Edge. As, as you can see, it is now allowing me to download. So I am going to run this. And I'll walk through the setup. And <clears throat> I've got two options here. One is to connect to Azure Log Analytics or OMS. And the other one is to connect to System Center Operations Manager. So you can do either of these or both. Uh, and if you're wondering, if you're familiar with SCOM or SCOM, yes, this is the same agent that SCOM uses. So I don't use SCOM, so I'm just gonna select the Log Analytics. Now it's asking me for a workspace ID and a workspace key. So I'm going to come over and grab those. And there is another option here for uh, HTTP proxy if you use that. I don't. And I'm just going to click next and install. And finish. Okay, so if I go into um, control panel, you can see we have the Microsoft monitoring agent and it's gonna ask me to sign in again. And over here you can see uh, it has a workspace ID and the agent ID and it is showing as successfully connected. So that's a good sign. That means it is connected to the OMS workspace. Let's see if it shows as I refresh. Yep, here now it's showing that there's two Windows computers connecting. Now if I go back to log search, we can see if there's anything uh, if it's collected any logs yet. Yeah. 
and we're getting some results. So that's a good sign. And if I click on the heartbeat, I can see that I've got the Windows 10 and the OMS test computer. Now, if you're not, after uh, five, 10 minutes, if you're not seeing anything, make sure when you go back into, uh, let's see here, into settings, advanced settings, um, data, Windows event logs, make sure that you have the application and system uh, selected for that. If not, just type in application. Select if you want error warning or informational and click save. And that should start the logging process. That's all there is to it. That's how you add a, an Azure VM and a non-Azure VM to OMS Workspace. Thanks for watching.